Wait, the Panda Express taking its place in line about four or five planes back from taking off from the runway here at Dulles. A sad moment for three bears that are leaving with a little piece of our hearts from D.C. But we are happy that they are making their way home and hope for the long life and enjoyment that they're going to experience when they do get back to China. We're watching as the plane taxis towards the runway now and getting our last look. We'll give them a wave from Chopper 4 as they lift off into the skies and watch them disappear into the great blue. Guys, back down to you. Oh, Brad, thank you so much. I mean, just the, the uh, we know that planes move slowly as they're getting ready to taxi, <laughs> yeah. but the just watching it go slowly now, you just want to tell it to stop, put the brakes on. Obviously, though, we know they're going this program 50 years in the making since uh, 1972. Uh, we have had pandas here in our nation's capital, and now uh, they're getting ready to take off. Amy Cho has been following this uh, from the very beginning, uh, is still joining us now uh, this morning. Amy, if you can just kind of tell us, we know there's a crowd kind of watching next to where you are. We see the smartphones out with uh, folks snapping pictures, getting video. What's the feeling right now uh, in that crowd? Yeah, right now things are settling down a little bit now that the plane has pulled away, but it has really been such an exciting and emotional morning here on the tarmac at Dulles International Airport. Lots of media from all kinds of outlets here um, just gathered to soak in this moment and to bring it and share it with all of you at home. Uh, truly such a surreal historic moment to be a part of. Uh, now I should point out this is a separate area of the airport from the main terminal where people catch flights and pick loved ones up and things like that. So if you are flying out of Dulles today. Unfortunately, you were not able to catch a glimpse of all of this uh, because this is in a separate area. Obviously, pandas need lots of security and supplies and things like that. So there was just no way for them to be able to do this on one of the normal uh, sections of the airport where the, all the people are flying out of. Um, but so we are watching as the uh, Panda Express is pulling ever farther from us uh, off into the distance and it's set to take off any moment now on a 19 hour journey to Chengdu, China. Uh, they have lots of bamboo and treats and toys uh, stocked up for that journey and they have multiple zookeepers and a veterinarian on board so the pandas should hopefully be in good hands uh, but such a full circle moment because uh, Mei Zhang and Tian Tian had come here in 2000 on a FedEx plane and now they're taking a FedEx plane back so truly a full circle journey and um, we're just just so sad to see them go. Uh, yeah this is the 10th time the FedEx Panda Express has been called into service our three bears, our beloved pandas, on this uh, flight back to China. Um, bittersweet moment for so many of us here in Washington. We've uh, heard from the National Zoo director who talked about the bitter, the heartbreak and the joy of all of this um, and the hope for the future that this conservation program um, between us and mm -hmm. China yeah. can continue um, once again in the future. Uh, but this is it. Yeah. Hopefully this is it. Tenth trip for the Panda Express, but hopefully not the last trip. That's our All hope. Right? You know, everyone's hopeful that we will continue this diplomatic relationship with China that um, has been so great for conservation. I mean, I think in the early 2000s there were, uh, you know, but just a couple hundred pandas yeah. uh, living in the wild. And, and now, you know, we've got into uh, over 1,500, I think it is. Um, and so it's been a great program. It has been a great program. And it's been great to see it grow. Uh, so many people have come out um, at the National Zoo, of course, at the airport to see this moment. Joseph Omo has been watching um, as well uh, as he saw the plane come in. All right, Joseph? And now we're seeing uh, the final moments on the ground before takeoff. Yeah, we are, Millette. And actually, uh, some good news here. It looks like this aircraft is going to take off in the runway that's right in front of us. Yeah, and there it goes. It has started its takeoff roll. And, Dira, if you want to show the plane here, it started its takeoff roll here. It's going to be departing any second now here from Reagan National Airport. And you see so many people have their eyes on this plane. I'm even going to try real quick. Oh, wow. I think those wheels are up in the front. You have somebody yelling here. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of excitement here. Here it comes, running down the runway here. Uh, wheels up. V1 rotate. There you go. Wheels up here from Dulles International Airport. 
This FedEx plane headed straight to Alaska for a quick fueling stop and then all the way to Chengdu, China, a 19-hour journey. Just listen in here, folks. And there it is. There's the moment. You know, you see the crowds of people lining up here to get that final video. People have been waiting uh, Jumia Millet for literally hours to see what you just saw. In fact, some of the folks who are lined up here are airport employees, some of them coming during their lunch breaks, some of them coming before they even get to work. You know, Dallas International Airport, big airports and pretty cool planes fly out of here like the Queen of the Skies, the 747, but nothing quite like this. And again, like we've been saying all morning, this is a flight that probably won't happen for for a long time here. So you just saw that 777 take off. It's slowly climbing up there in the skies right now, headed all the way to Alaska. That's going to be its first stop on this 19-hour journey. You see this woman here in the uh, blue jacket waving a fond farewell to these pandas, closing decades and decades of family fun at our national zoo here in Washington, D.C. Uh, you know, an attraction that, that brought so many people to the heart of our nation's capital, now headed away. It's, it a, uh, it's a bittersweet is. moment for sure. It kind of leaves you without words, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, it's, an, it's the uh, end of an era. Hopefully not a closed chapter, but um, this is the end of an incredible Millet, era. Mm -hmm. let, let, me just, let me just remind you here, and Indira, if you can turn around, Rose, why don't you wave to us real quick one more time. Remind us how long you've been out here just today, Rose. I think it's just six hours. Six, you <laughs> think it's just six hours? Just six hours. My yeah. goodness, you were the first person up here yeah. when we got here, and you've been filming this entire time. Why, Rose? Because we love the panda. We love. He from to China, so we just follow him like six months every day. Uh, we have a good relationship, so... Yeah, this this is my way. I want to do that. Rose, I see you getting a little emotional. What what makes this such a such an important moment, an emotional moment for you, Rose? Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. That's Rose here. She lives in Maryland. She's originally from China. You see her just taking this moment in. She's literally been on the top of this parking garage for hours today. She tells us six hours just to see this moment, these beloved animals that she's seen for six months in person at the National Zoo, now headed home. Well, uh, we are sad to see them go as well, Rose. Uh, thank you, uh, Joseph, for bringing us that uh, interview.